Hello everyone, I'm Brian Venzen, and today we're going to be breaking down this Genshin Impact effect. So I saw this GIF on the internet uh, last week and I was like, that's a cool effect, I should try to recreate that. And instead of just jumping into Unreal Engine and just uh, giving you guys the end result, I thought maybe I should uh, talk about my thought process a little bit about how I would break down this effect uh, into its several parts and pieces so that you guys can see how an effects artist might think about this kind of thing and then reconstruct it after the fact. So let's talk a little bit about what I'm seeing here. The first thing I'm noticing is uh, these two scrolling or, or turning runes uh, that sort of go in, in, in different directions. Kind of like this, right? So this one's going in one direction, this one's going in the other direction. Now how would we accomplish something like that in Unreal Engine? Well, several ways, right? We could um, use models, two different models that scroll one way and the other way, and you could get something uh, like that. Or you can do it the way I'm doing it, like this, uh, where you have two textures and two rotators, and they, they rotate in different directions using time, and you'll get this sort of ro rolling over each other uh, effect that the, the GIF has. The next part of the, the effect that I'm noticing is the scrolling galaxy effect you see kind of in the center here, right? So it's, it's, it's noise or some kind of seamless uh, tiling texture that scrolls down and to the left and sort of gives you this um, moving through the galaxy type feel. Kind of breaking that down, it's something like this, right? We're, we're sort of down into the left, uh, the galaxy's moving in that direction. Um, and, and so how would we do something like this in Unreal Engine? Right, I'm using a panner node and I'm, um, I'm scrolling my texture down and to the left. Um, and and uh, I gave myself a couple of variables here to, to set my X speed and my Y speed, right? So now we have both our, our runes scrolling in opposite directions and we have our galaxy in the center. The next thing I'm noticing is that the runes are being eroded away or eaten away as she whisks away the magic, right? I can see that these pieces are being eaten away into their own individual uh, little bits to remove them from screen as she whisks away the magic. So here I'm using the noise texture that you see scrolling in the center, taking that noise texture, and I'm giving myself uh, an ability to sort of change its scale, so how big or small the, the clouds are. And um, I'm throwing it into a step function, uh, which, which is very similar to an if statement in that it says if you're um, su at such threshold, I'll remove you from screen. And if you're not at that threshold, then you're fully on screen. And so it gives you that sort of eroding, eating away feeling. And I'll show you what that looks like in the material instance. So here as I scroll this erosion, right, you're seeing us get that eating away that we're seeing in the GIF, right? So now we have our eating away taking place here, which is great. The next part I notice is these particles you see, these bubbles. There's a couple of other kind of small bits there. Let's take a look at that in a, in a freeze frame. So here I notice three kinds of particles. There's the, the bubbles you see, the, the constellation pieces, these little white kind of lines that are supposed to make this feel really like kind of space magic. And then the, the hot white dots that kind of um, denote magic in all games. And so I kind of listed those out here, right? The bubbles, the constellations, and then the hot white dots. So in Unreal, we could just um, create a bubble texture uh, in, in Photoshop, like I've done here, and uh, plug the, the alpha portion of that texture into opacity, and then plug, um, you know, a particle color into the emissive color and that will give us the ability to uh, change the color of the bubbles and you could um, use that material in a particle system like I've done here and you could get something really similar to bubbles and you could do the same for the constellations and the white hot dots so that's a, an easy way to tackle the particle portion of this effect now the last bit of this effect is the magic every effects artist can pick apart another effects artist's work and see its parts and pieces but there's always some small hint of something that, that brings the whole effect together that's a little bit harder to untangle, and that's what I like to call the magic. How do we get from runes to bubbles to erode it away? So here in Photoshop, I'm showing you that moment where we flip from runes to bubbles. You know, how could we accomplish that? Because it's so successful at sort of hiding the, the, 
the, the swap, uh, the eating away process and making this all feel very cohesive. Um, so how would I go about doing this? Well, sort of initially I would think, well, maybe I'll just draw some kind of, you know, uh, s s bubble swooshy type thing that, that's, that feels um, sort of like this effect. Uh, but I'm not really that kind of artist. Um, that's for really talented uh, hand-drawn type artists. I'm more of a technical artist, and so I'm going to look for the easy technical solution, or maybe even more the more difficult technical solution, but one that gives me lots of flexibility. Um, and I'm going to show you how I tackled that here in Unreal Engine. So a combination of noise and um, this this sort of coordinate space called polar coordinates that allows you to sort of turn a texture in on itself. You can get something that feels really circular, like this, uh, this, this texture sample preview you're seeing here. And, and polar coordinates that I'm using here are exactly like uh, the Photoshop filter polar coordinates um, that, that I th I'm sure lots of artists who are watching this are, are used to. Uh, but I'll just show you what that looks like in Photoshop so you can understand what's happening here as well. Just to just demonstrate what polar coordinates does, you can go, come here to filter distort polar coordinates. And if you hit polar coordinates, you'll see that it turns this texture in on itself, much like I'm doing in Unreal Engine, right? So I'm getting what is essentially a tiling top and bottom texture, and I'm turning it in on itself to get that sort of rounded feeling that you're seeing there. So that's just one way to tackle this polar coordinates and some noise textures and some math, and you can get something sort of similar to bubbles. Uh, another way, a more simpler way, I, I believe, is to actually use a second set of UVs. We know for a fact that our effect is on a disc-like mesh, a lot like this, right? Where our, our UV space is gonna be, uh, you know, a, a big top-down kind of flat circle so we can put our two runes textures and rotate them opposite of each other. Uh, but what you could do is create a second UV space that's actually um, left to right, top to bottom, um, sort of tiling on each edge. But because our, our mesh is actually round, the left to right portion of our mesh in the UV space is actually around the edges of our mesh. So you're getting that sort of tumbling, you know, bubble swoosh effect without having to do all the math of polar coordinates. And that's pretty much it. That's the entirety of this effect. Now, what I would do next is actually uh, go in and try to make better art pieces uh, for textures and, and models and actually try to get really close uh, to the style of this effect. But the, the, the sort of tech and the breakdown of this effect is already done for you. I'm, I'm really curious to see uh, if this was helpful to anyone or if anyone actually takes an opportunity to try to tackle this effect themselves. I would love to see it. Um, and, and you can find me on uh, Twitter, on Instagram, on ArtStation, at Let's Make Effects uh, in all of those places. Um, I have a YouTube space. Uh, it's Let's Make Effects. And you can join me on Patreon at Let's Make Effects. Um, and I would love your support uh, if you can, if you can give it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.